Welcome back to a very special episode of the Bulldog Report. I'm your host, Leia Wetnick, and today I am honored to be sitting here with a number of athletes from various sports. As of 1972, Title IX of the Civil Rights Act was signed into law. Title IX prohibits sex discrimination in educational institutions receiving federal funds from the U.S. government. Separate physical education classes were outlawed and schools had to provide equal sports teams for girls. Today, we're here sitting with athletes from various sports um, celebrating the 50th anniversary of Title IX. My name is Neela Matthews. I'm a senior and I am a track and field athlete. My name is Abby Cozo. I'm a senior and I play softball, tennis, and flag football. My name is Ellie Lopez. I'm a sophomore and I play field hockey. My name is Riley Lamella. I'm a junior. I play soccer and I swim. My name is Lauren Cantar. I'm a junior and I play tennis. My name is Alex Osborne Jones and I'm a wrestler. My name is Caitlin Connors. I'm a sophomore and I play soccer, basketball, and compete in track. What does Title IX mean to you? For me, I'd say Title IX means I get to feel empowered every day um, by different female athletes that inspire me and lift me up um, and empower me because I do feel empowered every day and it means I get to explore other parts of my identity that um, that don't just include academics or um, extracurriculars without sports and um, obviously Title IX includes a lot of those things but um, I get to play sports I love and try new things just like I feel the people weren't allowed to do before in 1972. It's, it's vital that women get to do these things. Title IX has given me and a lot of other women the opportunity to look up to people in sports, other women in sports, who are such an inspiration for us to reach after our goals. To me, Title IX means increased participation for women in sports that they weren't able to do before. Like for me, in swimming, I raced against men, and at the time, in 1972, I'm sure that was frowned upon and beating men as a freshman was really empowering for me. I would say that wrestling is starting to become inclusive. It was just this past year that girls wrestling became an official sport for schools. So I'm sort of part of the movement of women joining wrestling because originally it was just a boys sport. On my team, I was one of four women and it was difficult at the beginning to walk into a room and be one of the only girls there. It was hard to have to work harder than my male counterparts to build up the strength and to be seen. However, I think that as more girls join wrestling, it is becoming more inclusive and it is becoming less of an issue to be the only woman there. And I think that Title IX is vitally important for any sport. Uh, because without Title IX, no girls would have been able to join wrestling. And it's a sport that I think everybody should have the ability to enjoy. Um, I think at Metuchen, um tennis is pretty inclusive by having a girls and boys team. And I think Title IX definitely helps empower all women's tennis players within the sport. Title IX has helped girls soccer, among other sports, become more inclusive because it it added that area of another gender able to compete in um, in sports. Before it was just men, and now it's women getting to uh, getting to inspire others and show off their work ethic and how they play. And the team aspect of that really plays into people feeling welcome. And at Metuchen, we have a very welcoming team, and it. It's always easy to step onto the field because we know that we're empowering and inspiring each other no matter what we do each day. Um, I'd say in terms of softball and tennis, they are made more inclusive because of Title IX. Um, as Lauren was saying, we do have now that outlet for women to be able to play tennis, and I think softball and baseball go hand in hand. Um, but more specifically, flag football is something that I started just for fun this past spring season and we would do the practices after softball games or practices so it got a little crazy but it was um there were really only seven of us total we had exactly a starting lineup and no one else and um, I played it with you know a bunch of other girls on my softball team as well as some girls on the soccer team and I'd say we were better at it than we thought we were going to be and 
this was something new that the school just tried and that the state of New Jersey has been trying to push for for a number of years. But it's one of those sports when you think of football, you think of a boys sport and a boys team at our school. And that's who represents our school in probably the biggest sport we have at our school um, that involves the most number of people and um, that brings the most revenue and and crowds to all the games. Um, but playing flag football just made me think, like, why not? Why why can't women try this sport? And we're we're really good at the sport. It 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 took us a while to get used to it more, but we can throw a football well, catch a football, um, run, and run faster and throw harder than a lot of the people I've seen. Um, and I hope that as the years progress at this school and in general that does become more of a thing of why can't it just be the best person at the school for the job on the football team um, because I know a lot of us can can run fast and can hopefully improve that team. I feel like in track and field the difference between men's and women's times are very apparent because you're competing at the same event and you're right after or right before one another but what Title IX has given us women the opportunity is to compete with against not against compete with other um, talented females and uh, like compare times in a sense because there are women on our team and other teams that have even like stronger times than even some men on other teams which is so empowering that we can have an opportunity to even compete at that level although the times are different um, based on competition wise it's still nice to see that there are women who are basically able to work as hard as they are able to and as hard as they can and still able to make a dent in um, a pretty like in a, a male sport okay what do you hope to see for the future of your sport in terms of inclusivity at MHS so for swimming, there's kind of a clear-cut distinction between women and men because there's not another kind of like category that people that don't identify as female or male. Um, wait, not it wouldn't be female. For people that don't 